guys, Yuri Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I made slight changes in my bathroom, starting with this large mirror that I have. I want to give it a more interesting look, and I'll be making use of a hula hoop. I spray painted it silver, and then glued mirrors all around it. These are actual glass mirrors that are 3 by 3 inches in size, and the link for this will be in the description box below. Now, I didn't have a lot of this, so I went ahead and used my acrylic sheet to cut out the same measurement to complete the design. And if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I didn't mind using this because it's just like an actual glass mirror. I'll be using both of them and then gluing them around the hoop using the strong adhesive. This little opening that's here, I'm just going to cut a little piece to fill it up. I let it dry overnight and then I remove the protective film. These are clear acrylic gems that I got from Party City and I'll be using this to hide the hoop that's showing in front. This is also going to add more glam to the design. Because I want the design to shine from the inside, I'm going to be attaching a string light to it. And I got this online and I'm going to leave a link for this in the description box below. I turned the design over and now I'm going to be attaching it inside and holding it down with clear tape. I forgot to mention that I turned it over and then I applied a stronger adhesive at the back of the gems to give them a firm, strong hold to the hoop. And this is the clear tape I'll use to hold the string lights to the hoop. Because the string light that I got is kind of long, I'm going to be going brown again the second time. And the third time. I wrapped up the remaining like this and covered it with masking tape. I then glued it down to one of the mirrors at the back. This is going to be attached to the mirror in the bathroom. And it's very important that you clean the mirror in the bathroom before attaching it. I'll be using Velcro to mount this to the mirror. I added a little bit more here 
because what I have around here are actual glass mirrors that are slightly heavier than the acrylic sheet mirrors. The DIY video for the bathtub area at the back is going to be in the description box below. I made another one to make it too. And I mounted it on the large mirror in the bathroom and they look so beautiful together. Because it took me a while to hide the string lights that connect to the power outlet, I would recommend using string lights that uses batteries and a remote. You can have the lights on behind the mirror the way it is, or add the lights in the bathroom and it would still look pretty. The next DIY is going to be how to make a tufted toilet seat. I can imagine the looks on your faces right now because this is not something you see in every home. This is a picture that someone sent to me and yes, it got my attention because it's all weird and different. Then I went ahead to check online to find similar ones. This is what I found on Pinterest and I was so happy when I saw the same thing but with a different pattern on Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box below for this in case you just prefer to buy it. Now I'm gonna be recreating this starting with a canvas panel. I'm gonna draw out the shape of the top flap of the toilet seat first and then draw a line that's 1.5 inches away from the first line. What I'm gonna cut out is the inner shape that I just traced out. I'll be gluing a one inch foam on top of it that has the same shape. And then after that, I'm gonna be making holes on the foam, getting it ready for tufting. I would love to use white, but then let me just start off with this shiny silver fabric. And I'll be using a staple gun to make my tufts. All I'm doing is locating where the holes are first and then stapling it down with a staple gun. And guys, you should also remember that whatever fabric you're going to be using for this particular project has to be something that can be cleaned because it's going to be in the bathroom. I'll be covering the staple pins with crystal buttons. Now you can also use upholstery thumbtacks. I'm going to cover the back to keep it flat. Before I attach this to the toilet seat, I made the same design using a white faux leather fabric. And to hide the staple pins, I used large upholstery thumb tacks. What I have on the left is another design of an upholstery thumb tack. I'll be using a hammer to attach this to the design. This was done on the same table where I have my camera set up, so I apologize for the camera movement. This is what both of them look like together, and they're so pretty. Here's another idea. You can just wrap a leather fabric that you like around a board without tufting. Look at that, 
I've just made three nice designs for a toilet seat. And I didn't spend anything at all because I used items that I already have at home. Now these lovely designs can be attached using command strips or velcro. I had cardboard in my toilet area and I told you guys that I will be replacing it and I did. I replaced it with wooden crates that I attached wooden doors to it, painted it white and used an old knob that I've had before, spray painted it silver, attached it to it and extended the length of the frame. Now this is what it looks like. Now this is how all three of the designs look like. If you want something more simple, you can just add a contact paper on top of the upper lid of your toilet seat. These are self-adhesive and easy to apply. The bathroom DIYs that I've shared with you guys, including this beautiful upgrade to this mirror here, are ways that you can change the look in your home even if you're in a rented apartment. I love this so much and it's amazing to know that it all started with a hula hoop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.